I got an exciting phone call. I won a trip to Egypt, but I'm in a really big hurry because I had to be packed and ready to go in five minutes. The Uber car is gonna be here. So let's make sure I got everything I need. I got my teddy, I got my mask, I got my toothbrush and toothpaste, I got my jammies, and I got a key to the girls' bathroom. I hope they have them. And I have microwave popcorn. Uh-oh, I gotta go, they're here. I hope they have a microwave. Wait, today's story is about how God's people had to be ready to go in a long trip in a very big hurry. Here's Miss Penny to tell you all about it. Long ago, the Hebrew people lived as slaves in Egypt. Pharaoh, the ruler of the land, made them work very hard. The people cried out to God for help. I am who I am. Their God heard their prayers. I am sent Moses to lead the people out of Egypt. Moses went to the place, to the palace, many times to ask Pharaoh to, lead, to let them go. Every time, Pharaoh said no. He didn't want to lose his slaves. Finally, I am told Moses to prepare the Israelites. Ask your Egyptian neighbors for gold, silver, and clothing, and jewelry, I am instructed. You will need them for the journey. So the people went to their neighbors and gathered everything they needed. I am called the people to remember the day they left slavery behind. The Lord God told them to celebrate with a special meal. Take a lamb or goat, he said. Roast the animal and cook a meal to remember. Eat bitter herbs to remember how bitter your slavery was. Eat bread made without yeast to remember that your bread had no time to rise before your long journey. Pharaoh sent for Moses. The Egyptian king was furious. I've changed my mind. Get out of my sight, Moses. You and all your people, pack up your belongings and leave right now. Moses ran back to tell the people. It was time. Finally, after all these years, they could leave. There was so much to do. Everything had to be packed up in a hurry. Everyone helped. Moms and dads, boys and girls, aunts and uncles, grandmas and grandpas, all helped. Some readied the animals. Some made bread dough and wrapped it in cloth. There was no time to lose. So they took the bread before it could rise. Others packed up the gold, silver jewelry and clothes. They loaded pots, knives, and sleeping mats onto oxen. Moses started walking through the streets, and the people followed. As they walked, more and more people joined. Soon, thousands and thousands of people were following Moses. They had worked together, and now they were free. The people gave thanks to God because God had helped them. It would be a long journey. But they knew that I am the Lord God would be with them every step of the way. I'm back. My trip was short. It turns out it was mini golf. Oh well, you know, today's story was all about people who had to escape a bad situation. There are people today who need to leave their homes quickly. When there is a fire or war or any kind of danger, people need to leave quickly. How can we help people who need to leave their homes to escape danger? You should talk about that. And besides, I gotta go. I just want a trip to the nearest 7-Eleven, which is good, because I need more popcorn.